First there was the online bookshop, now there's the online library. Handheld tablet computers like the iPad and the Kindle are changing the way we read books. Now a small Spanish technology company is attempting to take the reading revolution just one stage further by copying the model of Spotify, the internet music service that offers a huge catalogue of tunes online for free. But will it work for books? Our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen has this report. Books are big business. The London Book Fair shows this. The industry is worth £3 billion a year to the British economy. Here, big companies are signing multi-million pound deals for the books you might be reading on the beach this summer. Although this year, you might not be reading a printed book. Instead, it might be an e-book on a tablet computer like the Kindle or the iPad. But as more of us are touching the screen rather than turning the page, the threat of e-piracy, which has plagued the music and film industry for years, is now hitting publishers and authors in the pocket. A year ago, piracy was not such a big issue for the publishing industry as such, since the reading experience on desktop computers was not optimal. Of course, with the introduction of the iPad, you see a great alternative to reading electronic files, and as such, you'll see a great increase in uh, pirated ebooks as well. One way that the music industry is tackling piracy is through services like Spotify. It lets you listen to your favourite tunes for free over the net as long as you put up with a few ads or pay for a subscription. But like a library, you never actually own the music that you're listening to. Now at the London Book Fair, a Spanish company, 24 Symbols, is trying to make this business concept work for books. There are tens of thousands of books exhibited here at the London Book Fair, all pretty conventionally printed on paper, ready to go out to bookstores. Of course, for a while we've been able to access some of them, and hundreds of thousands more, on tablet devices like the iPad that are connected to the internet. But what's radically different about 24 Symbols is that instead of authors and publishers being paid for each book I look at or download, they'll only be paid for each page I actually read. The difference, the making difference that we get from the traditional model where a book is bought as a product is that the book is seen as a service. What we're serving is pages. So basically what we do is a model in which publishers get money based on the number of pages that uh, users and readers are, are reading. 24 Symbols that launches here in June will connect iPads to thousands of books accessed via the web. A monthly subscription will let you read when you're not online, maybe when you're on the tube or in a park. Because the system is based on pages rather than whole books, authors get really detailed feedback. If you give up their book at page 35, they'll find out. We asked some authors at the book fair what they thought. I think it's a good idea to have the, the opportunity for them to sample pages and see if they really like it. Because I too many times have bought books where, you know, five, six, even 50 pages and it's like I can't go on. It's like a wine. And it doesn't mean Isn't it really? It's like a wine. If, you, if you're, you take a few sips, you go, oh, can't drink that, you know. And books are exactly the same as wine. When Spotify began its revolution of the music industry, the problem it found was getting enough music labels to sign up globally so that its collection contained most songs that users want. The cultural shift that's needed for a new business model for books to succeed isn't really from readers or even authors. It's from the publishers who've closely controlled the industry since the invention of the printing press.